we are starting circular motion from here and first of all let's introduce some new quantities in circular motion here and these are the angular variables first of all we see angular position angular position what do you mean by angular position any reference line normally we take it as x axis if the particle moves moves on the circumference and reaches a position p dash from the position p this angle the angle made by the p p dash arc on the center of the circle is theta this angle is now known as angular position so as much the circle increases the angular position will increase that is equal to theta normally the unit which we use is the radian we use the unit radian for the theta and also we use degree but degree is not our scientific unit radian is our scientific unit and here if we talk about the direction of the theta theta is positive when anti clockwise theta is negative when clockwise we see we have studied in trigonometry the students of mathematics might be knowing if angle is moving in this direction then the angle is considered positive and if the angle is moving in this direction then it is considered negative so this we must keep in mind even in physics the quantities which we will come across angular momentum angular velocity angular position angular velocity angular acceleration angular momentum torque all the quantities which we will see are positive anti clockwise and negative clockwise so this is our convention it's an universal convention next we will see angular velocity angular velocity is defined as change of theta with respect to time and denoted by omega so angular velocity is a vector as it is understood by its name only so it is a vector and one thing we need to understand is d theta is angular displacement where d theta is a vector if d theta is small it is very small here d theta is a very small quantity if d theta is very small then it holds the properties of vectors and if d theta is more then it doesn't hold vector properties and this we can understand but now we don't have time to explore it much we will include it in other section we will study this topic separately now we see angular velocity is the rate of change of theta with respect to time and we take it instantaneous only here one thing you must understand that if angular velocity is a vector then what is its direction so if angular velocity is a vector then what is its direction the biggest thing is if the particle is moving anti clockwise if it is moving anti clockwise then its angular velocity will be positive and that vector will be out of the plane from which plane you are 